Kids around the country can only imagine what it's like being the president's child while living at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. For a kid, the West Wing is a dream. Yet for former President Barack Obama's daughters, Malia and Sasha, it was just home. In an interview with People back in 2008, the Obamas revealed that the girls, 10 and 7 at the time, just got $1 per week in allowance, and only after finishing their chores. Former First Lady Michelle Obama revealed, they have to clean up their half of the third floor where they play. They have a closet of toys they have to clean up. They have to practice their piano every day. When it came to growing up in the White House, Malia and Sasha Obama managed relatively normal lives away from the public eye. Yet life came with an added twist. The biggest change from being normal kids in Chicago to being the president's daughters in Washington, D.C. was the presence of armed guards 24-7. When it came time for the Obama's eldest daughter, Malia, to learn to drive, Michelle Obama admitted in an interview with Rachel Ray that it wasn't she or the president who taught their teen at the time. It was the Secret Service. She said, The Secret Service taught her, actually, because they wouldn't let me in the car with her. She always has security around. The former first lady went on to reveal that Malia did eventually get some alone time in the car, but the Secret Service wasn't far behind. Driving for Malia, I think, gives her a sense of normalcy, like the rest of her friends are doing, and my kids have got to learn how to live in the world like normal kids. The relationship between Sasha and Malia Obama got a bit trickier as the girls entered their teen years. In an appearance on The Late Late Show, former President Barack Obama admitted he didn't see a future in politics or public service for his two daughters, as they were both tired of the Secret Service. Obama joked to James Corden, They still have PT PTSD from guys you know, talking into their wrist microphones and glasses as they're trying to go to a, a music concert. The former president then went on to say, Them as teenagers having Secret Service guys follow them when they were going out on dates, I think probably has shut down their interest in public service. Malia has already steered away from politics, sparking interest in the film industry and attending Harvard University. Obama predicted of his daughters, I think they are probably going to find other ways to serve uh, rather than uh, run for office themselves. but. You never know. Having the Secret Service hovering over the Obama girls as they grew up in the White House wasn't all bad. The armed guards had a sweet nickname for each member of the family, with Sasha's perhaps being the sweetest. The Secret Service opted to call Sasha Rosebud, while her sister Malia was given the code name Radiance. In keeping with the R theme, Michelle was known as Renaissance, while the president was Renegade. The tradition of a Secret Service code name for the first family in the White House began in the early 1900s, and while the nickname process originally began as a safety measure, it has since become an opportunity for the first family to choose a name with meaning. Looking back at past presidential families, each nickname within one first family must begin with the same first letter, such as R in the Obama's case, and they are picked out from an approved list from the White House Communications Agency. Former President Donald Trump opted to pay homage to his years as a New York real estate tycoon, choosing the codename Mogul, while former First Lady Melania Trump went with Muse, a fitting name for a former model. The Bush family, on the other hand, went with the letter T, with President George W. Bush going with Trailblazer, former First Lady Laura Bush choosing Tempo, and their daughters going with Turquoise and Twinkle. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.